And here we are again for the next match. We just finished an exciting recurve cadet mixed team and we are going with the recurve cadet woman individual, the bronze medal match, where we will have Italian archer, Tania Yacheri against USA archer, Iliana Claps. And with me, I have a very good expert archer, <laughs> <laughs> the US team, I Sach Garrett. Sach, welcome. Thank you very much for passing by and to giving your time here to make some comments. Yeah, of course. So, how has been the week this this week for you? It's been good. I mean, we had some pretty rough weather on the elimination day, but I think everyone shot really well, and you get to see the result of that here with the individual matches. Yes, it's Recurve Junior Men. I forgot to say part of the U.S. team. Yeah. The successful team who has gone many finals. I guess you have been part of this Dream Team program, or how you call it? Uh, yeah, yeah, I was part of the Junior Dream Team program for a while. And as a result of it, we can see a big increase of uh, results and good talented archer like you coming to finals, coming to the Youth World Championship. I guess that the, the advantage of the team here is you have not jet lag. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's kind of a, a home field advantage in a way. Uh, to not have to fly across the world. I got to see that uh, when I went to Turkey for the first time earlier this year. It's a different trip. Oh, eh? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the food, the people, the, the sleeping. Yeah. You are awake and suddenly you are tired, like I need to exactly. sleep and it's only I was 3, getting 3 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when I came back to the U.S., I was getting tired at 3 every day. Yes, it's different because of travel so much. When you go to the direction opposite of the rotation, yeah. it takes more days to adapt. So when it's you go to the US to Europe, it takes quite a while, but when you come back, it's, it's tough. Yeah, I just got uh, reacclimated here because we came right from Turkey and had three days back home and came here. Just uh, two weeks before was Antalya, yep. mm -hmm. a very successful World Cup with the finals on the beach. Did you like the beach? It was like beautiful. It? Turkey was really, really nice. It's a, it's a great country and they have great archers. They have been they very do. successful here. They do. They've been very successful here, especially and on the compound side. And how has been the atmosphere in the U.S. team? Uh, so excited. Uh, this is the best turnout we've ever had at a World Championship event, period, I think. So, especially from the recurve, we're really seeing a lot of a lot of good talent coming yes, from the programs. Yes, we always expect the compound U.S. archers mm -hmm. doing well, but yeah. the recurve, of course, they have talented and very good archers, but they are not so often in the finals, and now yeah. they are. Yeah, now you see now all you these. you are. <laughs> yeah, now I am. But we're seeing all these... Um, all sorts of recurve shooters coming from the U.S. now. Why? It's really good to see. Why? What is your opinion? Now that nobody listens, what do you think <laughs> is the, <laughs> the part With of everybody it? listening. Um, I, I'm not sure. I, I know that this team is a very experienced team that we sent this year. And I think that that's a huge advantage. We have, on most of these teams, we have two out of three of the people have had some kind of large tournament experience, some kind of international experience, and that's that's big. You that's it big. pays out at these world championship events. Can we come back to the US team. Let's now see how we are doing. We have our bronze medal match with our Italian archer, Tania Yacheri, who eliminated in the quarter final, I think, yes, to the Turkish archer, and then she has to meet the Korean archer, Sim, and she lost. That's why she's in the bronze medal match. When Claps from USA met a Korean archer, and she took her, I uh, know, she lost against a Korean archer, that's why she's in the bronze, and we will have the final Korea, Korea, and the bronze, Italy, USA. I expect this to be a pretty good match. We had a very good matches yeah, in the so morning. Yeah. See some pretty good scores. I saw it in the last match mm -hmm. with without the wind. I mean, There's no wind there. Eh? You can see exactly what the shooter is capable of. We are, we are waiting a little bit because the timing system is down. They are resetting it. The, the judge on the shooting line is uh, making sure that everything is ready before they start and of course pick it up that there was no time. So we cannot start the match without having the time system ready. So archers have to wait a bit. You have been there in the shooting line. What's come to your mind <laughs> when you are shooting elimination or finals? Um, and you're going to start. It's uh, intimidating. I, I ran track before I shot archery. And it, 
there's nothing that compares to hearing the gun go off when you're about to <laughs> you line up and you're right there with everybody you're running against and then the gun goes and like you go from having all these nerves to they just disappear and that's kind of what it's like waiting on the line for the buzzer to go off so that's a, that's a good decision because the artists went back and they can talk to the coaches so it's a bit of I'm not alone there. Yeah, <laughs> I get the support. We can talk about. Kind of yeah. try to calm the nerves down a little bit, but yeah. I'll tell you a secret. There's nothing you can do to calm down those nerves. <laughs> you just got to go with it. The nerves are there. Yep. There's no way to get relaxed, but you can focus on what you should think and what you have to do. Exactly. Yeah. Present what to do now and what I've done. Thousands of arrows. Yep. I have to do it now, and that's it. No pressure. I just I like to say Nike. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> Nike, the sponsor of the U.S. team, so exactly. let's make a bit of publicity. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. I'm sure they'll appreciate that. And right now we're just making sure both clocks yeah, just got to accept the pressure and execute. For this, you need to get several many situations that you experience this pressure and deal with it, and that's called experience. It's yeah. And we were talking the other day that any archer who is the first time here coming to a venue final with television, with spectators, it's a bit impressive. It's a bit... Uh, Tense. They give you it's a little shock. Eh? Yeah, that's what Turkey was my first finals venue. So um, it was it was intense. So I, I really empathize with whatever's going through first time archers' heads. Mm. So the timing system was reset, and we are ready to go. Italy starting first. Seven. Seven. It's not better way to start. Yeah, that's eh? a good first shot arrow just off the spider. Eight. Nine. That one's just out. Eliana's already set herself up with a pretty good lead going into this last arrow. Nine. That does it. So it's clear that Eliana claps, start very well, and very seems, well. seems quite relaxed. It's yeah, I, I think she's doing well. This is her second world championships. I know it's at least her second. Um, yeah, I've, I've noticed. Really, I, I saw her making a shot like she's not in the final. Like yeah, it was the same shot she always has. Good. Uh, I've noticed a lot of these matches. The first end has been pretty, pretty, pretty rough, tough. but Eliana really didn't have any trouble. You are totally right. But yeah. Uh, I've over the past two days, it seems like every match is having a pretty rough first end. That the one was good. The first end, you need to find yourself, but if you find it just in the first arrow, that's great. And she's still hanging out, right? Struggling to find her bearings. That's interesting. Both of them are lefty. Yeah, <laughs> you don't see that very often, so that's no. for sure. And our cameras, of course, are not set for all the lefties. <laughs> <laughs> so we see a little bit of the side back. You get to see the scapula move really well, though. So that's kind of cool. Angle you don't usually see. Nine. You can see that the coach is talking to you about the scapula. <laughs> <laughs> Scapula, this mystery bone that we have yep. in the back that move our shoulders. <laughs> Something that we use very much in archery, especially when we have Korean coaches. Yeah. We talk a lot about scapula and, the and alignment. Mm -hmm. And being a good line, good line is having the elbow in the same line as the arrow or even behind to, to feel very much inside the expansion of the bow and feel the pressure of the bow on the shoulders and not in the head. Yep. Bracing the bow more efficiently. Thank you. 
excellent grouping, a bit high, but grouping is what matters. Yeah, As a lancer, you feel better when you group. Eh? Exactly, it gives you a little bit of confidence. It's yeah. telling you that you have done the same shot. Yep. Actually, Eliana's lowest arrow, or out of that, her arrow that was furthest out of the ga that group was the 10, so she needs to move her side up a little bit. But it looks like Tanya found her found her bearing on that last shot. Is that is very good shot. Yes, that's what we have seen before the first end, and some matches struggle to get the feeling, and then they go yep. into it. Sometimes there's time to come back, like some matches yesterday, and Archer losing losing set of four and coming back and winning. Six yeah, four. and that's. <laughs> That's really impressive. That, that shows you the mental, the mental aspect of this sport is the ability to come back from a deficit like that. Knowing that I didn't settle well at the beginning, but I can make it. Yep. Believe in yourself. So if we will go to the third set of the five that can happen, clubs leading 4-0. Yeah, Cherry really has to come back in this one, if not she's done. Yep. Nine, it's a good start. Eight. And she's still high. Still high. But not touching the side yet. Maybe she thinks it's her. That's very often happening in archers, eh? Yeah. It's high and the coach is telling touch and say, no, it's me, it's yeah. me, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's, it's difficult because in the finals, you have the feeling that the shot was not perfect, but sometimes it's the sight. Exactly. Oh, that one's a good yes. height. But <laughs> you pay a lot right. of money for these sights that have the ability to move, and then you never use them. Yes. Oh, that's it's me, it's me, it's me. That I used to say, the archer. You know, this costs so much money not to have it, it's to use it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good group, a bit on the left. When, let's see. Oh, and she knew she needed a 10 to tie that, and she yes. went out and got it. Good uh, for her. Eliana needed a 10. She tied. She get one more set point. Yeah. Closer to the medal, to the gold. No, the bronze, sorry. Closer to the bronze. One more step. Here we see how the coaches are talking. How how you feel this? How important is Do you like to have coaches talking to you in the final, or you are those archers that say, when I need something, I will ask you? But be I quiet. <laughs> I see both sides. I think it depends on the situation. It's, it's. Uh, I think the coach really has to analyze the person's personality, uh, because some people are much more the type that they want to just get in their zone and focus. But you have other archers who are really not needy, but really thrive off of that coach relationship. Yes, that's uh, totally right. It's difficult to coach an archer when you don't need, when Very. you know him, when yep. you know her. There's definitely such a thing as overcoaching. Yes, and something something is important to agree at the beginning. When it's your coach, the coach have you training all your life. You know perfectly what it is. But some of those coaches are team managers or coaches of the team, yep. not necessarily personal coach. So they need to have a lot of communication before to know each other and to to clarify what I need when I'm there. Exactly. I think that I think that the coach should always have meetings and good communication with the archer, especially archers that they're coaching one on one. I'm sure that all these coaches do. Seven. And also, don't forget, we are with the cadets, 15, 16, 17 years old. So it's also a process of education, coaches, and not yes. only to, to coach, uh, but also to teach. Very much so. See what is happening, so how they behave, and then give the feedback and correction. That's a process of learning. Very much. Eight. Wow. Mm. This is not helping, 25. She opened up with a good 10. Yes. I thought that she was going to put the next two in there. Eight. And she got it. Yes, All right. Yes. This, this two red for Tanya didn't help to put so much pressure on her. And yeah. U.S. clap. Another medal for U.S. <laughs> you are beating the record. <laughs> in Our the coach is happy. That's for sure. Coaches, your federation. I, yep. I have been uh, discussing with uh, Dennis Parker and some of your coaches in the team. The effort they have been doing for several years already yeah. with this dream team project and putting you together, having more competition, having more training camps. Yep. And it's paying off after several it, it years. It really working. is paying off. Right? Yes. It's a building process. So you can't expect to see results immediately, but I think we're getting to that point where we are seeing results, and that's really exciting. Uh, we've been having team meetings every night, and 
every night. The coaches are giving us uh, uh, affirmation of how well we've been doing. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is awesome, guys. You're you're really uh, going out there and doing a great job. And any so critics, many medals. Any, anything to improve? They mentioned. <laughs> No. 